back in October when I went to Yumicon in Detroit um, for Mondo Cool TV, I picked up a couple of bits and bobbles, and originally I was going to have a part two for the supplementary uh, video to go with that. And I was going to show off a couple of these drinks that I got. I got another one in a bottle exactly like this, and then I got another one that's in kind of a tin bottle. It's shaped like a bottle, but it's made out of metal. So anyway, I got this, and uh, enjoy pop soda, and all this crap, product of Japan. And the other day, I was at Meyer, and I was walking around, and incidentally, in the pop aisle, and something just caught me out of the corner of my eye. <laughs> Marble pop, which is in the exact same style bottle and this is made in America let's look at these bottles they're the exact same size and shape and I didn't really notice what the gimmick was with this but it's the bottle because I didn't want to open this because this is you know one of my little trinkets from uh, Yumicon so I saw this and it's kind of expensive it's a buck 82 for this bottle and this is a little bottle and uh Anyway, it's kind of a little bottle. I didn't want to open it because it's one of my, you know, things from my first anime convention. So I saw this for a buck eighty-two, and I went ahead and picked it up. And I'm going to show you what the gimmick is. So I'm going to open this up right now. First, you got to get rid of this crap. All right. Take that off, and you expose this weird little nipple. I'll get to that in a second. You also get this little thing that was, you know, up top. So what you do is you pop this out. Now you got this little uh, plunger gizmo. This is more garbage. And then what you do is take this, and you press down. It's kind of hard because I'm trying to hold it up for the camera. Let's see. Yeah, so you push that down and it pushes the marble down. And you get that satisfying little plop kerthunk. And that is why they call this marble pop. So there's a marble in there. Now, if you go to their website, just Google Marble Pop, and it'll take you to their website, and it shows you where you can buy this. I know Meyer is kind of a Midwest thing, like that store is from Michigan. I live in Ohio, so I have Meyers all over the place. Um, so a lot of people that are on, you know, like the East or West Coast won't be able to get this at a Meyer because you don't have Meyer. So Google that, and there's like two or three stores that uh, carry this stuff, Meyer being one of them. And... At all costs, avoid this uh, green apple because it tastes like dick. And also avoid strawberry because it also tastes like dick. But this is the bottle. And it's got this little marble in here. And the, set, the best part about this is just when you push the little plunger down, it goes poop. And that's about the most satisfaction you get out of it. At least all these two flavors, uh, strawberry and green apple, are horrible. This is kind of a lemon lime sort of flavor. You know, think uh, Sierra Mist is probably the closest thing to you know this you'll get. But it's clear, and this is the one I would go for out of the three flavors I've tried because these are fucking gross. <laughs> strawberry is okay but green apple was fucking gross and that's the one I got from Japan so I don't know if they taste similar or if you know the companies that make these are like in any way related to each other it didn't really look like they were but uh if you look at the bottom of this one you know no real distinguishing marks it says hi and it's got like a dash in 83 if you look at the bottom of this one, the one from America, it's got Asian characters out the ass. So, who knows? Anyway, Marble Pop. This one's for you, Terra Fanatics. 
yeah yeah none of these are uh that good <laughs> I, would, I would say avoid these uh buy one if you want to push the thing down and here you know it's very satisfying the way it goes plop and then fizzes up and stuff that's the most enjoyment you're going to get out of this thing this is the least offensive flavor would I drink this on any consistent basis like this is just a drink hell no uh, these are probably the last ones I'm ever going to get I just uh, picked these up for the sake of this video I was out with my uh, lady pal when I saw these and we tried them and they're fucking sick this one is the least offensive but I would still say it's a pass unless you want to see the cool marble that's about the most you're going to get out of it so anyway, thanks for watching. Um, more videos, reviews, stuff on the way. Stay tuned.